Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're out here at the old hickory stump, and today we got another knife of the month from Ravencrest, which is the Raven Pack subscription. So if you're unfamiliar with that subscription, you get a new knife every month. It's um, $9.99 plus shipping, so it ends up being around $16 a month. This is May 2019. Obviously, uh, we have a folder in here. So, just based on the on the package size. So, um, the we'll go ahead and open it up here with the uh, CRKT crossbones. Pretty cool little knife. Um, <clears throat> usually, they don't have the information on these knives on their website until you know they've given everybody an opportunity to unbox them, and uh, so usually. I can't find any information by the time I uh, post, but sometimes, I mean, this one I've had for a day or two, so maybe. So if I can find information, I'll put it in the in in the description or in the video here somewhere. Um, so, as I've noted recently, the boxes all now say Raven Pack, and I don't actually buy any additional knives since I get one every month from Ravencrest. So I don't know if all of them say Raven Pack now. They used to say Ravencrest, but uh, yeah, you got your plain black box, no model number, no nothing on there. So this is the standard packaging. All the Ravencrests or, or Raven Packs, I guess, come in, except for one. We had that one that had the picture and all the details on it, which was kind of nice. So uh, this is it's okay. It just uh, maintains the mystery until you get it open. So here we go, there's a big unveil. It's our $10 knife this month. Interesting. So um, it is black, which just about every Ravencrest I've ever got is black, except for that Karambit. Karambit had that like desert tan color to it. But there she is. So uh, you do have a texture on here. This, this appears to be G10, yep. So you got G10 handle scales, looks like a stainless steel liner. You do have a deep carry pocket clip. Does not look like that is changeable, so or at least reversible. So you're going to be stuck with right hand tip down carry only. You have a, a small lanyard hole there, and standard Torx bits for all the hardware. Um, do have a little bit of detail on that pivot but uh, it's black on black on black there's the raven crest raven there and uh, you know, we do get a option of the opening with the thumb stud or the flipper so I like that I like having options cool it's a liner lock um, texture on that is uh, pretty good it's not uh, I guess, it, yeah, I rubbed off some of my finger on there, as you, as you can see right there. <laughs> so it, it, it does give you some, some good grip, um, but it's not too aggressive. Let's check the centering while we got it here. Um, you know, centering could be better. It is off to the right a little bit, off, uh, off that way, if you can see that. So, uh, yeah. Centering, not so awesome, but it's a $10 knife, so, I mean, expectations, right? Okay, uh, we're going to start with the thumb stud this time. We'll see how the first flip goes with that. Well, I screwed it up. There we go. Ooh, it feels like it's on bearings. It feels like it's on bearings. Let's see how the left hand goes with that. Nice. Nice action. It, it definitely feels like it's on bearings. That is... Silky smooth. Silky smooth. Let's try the flipper. Yep. It is definitely on bearings. Definitely. Let's try it this way. Boom. Right out there. So, action. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Nice and smooth. Let's, uh, let's see how she shits. Pretty good. Um, let's see how the detent is. Let's see if it flips out with gravity. Detent's pretty strong, but uh, it man, it just glides out. 
well, until I screwed up there, but yeah, there we go. Nice. So let's try uh, flip, uh, let's try uh, push button. Nice. And then we'll do light switch. Cool. All right, that all works. Let's talk about the blade. So we got a, a saber grind here. Feels like a hollow grind, actually. I got a swedge here with the drop point. Um, pretty standard fare. Pretty attractive looking blade style. Uh, you do have some very mild jimping up here on the spine. And it uh, feels okay. It's, uh, I don't like overly aggressive jimping anyways, but um, that feels pretty good. Actually, feels the ergonomics feel pretty good. That, that pocket clip is nice and low, so that doesn't create any hot spots when I'm holding it in my right hand. So that is good. You do have a little bit of jimping there on the lock, and lock is making good contact, and it's early lockup, which you want. And then you got your standard Ravencrest tactical emblem, standard uh, standard fare on the Raven packs or Ravencrest knives here. So yeah, I mean, other than the centering, it's a pretty pretty decent looking knife pretty decent functioning knife. Um, ergonomics feel pretty good. I mean, it it does lock right in. It's about, about the right size for an nice EDC knife. Um, it's a shade on the, on the heavy side. There's no skeletonization in there, if you can see that inside. Uh, but it is a nice wide open design, so you can clean it easy without taking it apart. Um, just got a couple barrel spacers there on the back holding everything together. Cool. All right, let's uh, set that down for a moment, and we will get the Bud K catalog here, and we'll, we'll see how sharp it is out of the box. Now, if you've watched any of my other uh, Ravencrest videos, most of them come pretty dang sharp right out of the box. We've had a, a few disappointments along the way, but by and large, these things come razor sharp. So I'm expecting razor sharpness here. So we'll, we'll, we'll cut on a skill. A skill. Oh yeah. Beautiful. It, it, is, it is nice and razor sharp. No problems. No problems whatsoever. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Well, that's nice and sharp. Nicely honed right out of the box. All right. We got some paracord down here, I think. Booyah. Starting to get low on the green paracord. I'm going to have to get another freaking bundle. But uh, let's try push through first. Yeah, took some effort. Took some effort. But uh, it did, did make it through there. Let's uh, let's try that one more time. Oh, that was better. That went through much easier. So it might have been might have been the user's fault. Let's do one more. Last one. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, two out of three were a little took a little bit more effort than I thought. All right. Let's do the uh, slice. Make some slicey action here. Nice, nice clean cut. Pretty, pretty dang good there. Do one more on the slicey slice. Slice. Pretty good. Pretty good. So, yeah, that worked out pretty good. I mean, it's, it's nice and sharp now. You know, one thing I've noticed on these is they've removed a lot of the, um, information they they were putting on the blade the the most obvious thing being the type of blade steel um, just about every well, I think every single Raven crest knife I've ever gotten in this subscription has been 440c so I'm guessing this one here is also 440c I would expect nothing different um, and they all come with a black coated blade uh, I'm not entirely sure what the coating is I haven't looked that up but uh, at any rate, pretty standard fare for Ravencrest, and uh, 
Oh yeah. Nice, nice chopping action. Yeah, that'll do. I like that. Okay. Um, well, there it is. I guess we didn't talk about uh, about fit and finish on it. Um, you know, not bad. You know the the screws aren't all. I mean, they're. That, I guess they are kind of boogered up a little bit. So, never mind. I was looking at the pivot one, and that one looks okay. But the others, those look okay. Um, sometimes these clips come with little chips on them, but this one looks fine. So, yeah, I mean, really the main complaint is the centering is off. Um, but everything else seems to be pretty good. Actually, very good. So, pretty happy with that knife. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this thing I don't know what I don't know what model it is that they're they're calling this thing but um, anyways let me know what you think of this Ravencrest thanks for watching guys